On the 23rd of January, 1915, an economic savior was born. St. Lucia produced a son who proved to be way beyond his years. This person was no other than William Arthur Lewis, son of George and Ida Lewis. George and Ida Lewis migrated from the island of Antigua and settled in St. Lucia. They had five children, one of whom was Arthur. Sir Arthur Lewis's father died when he was at a tender age. This left Ida Lewis with the challenging task of taking care of her children alone. Of course, this did not prevent her from giving her children the best. She effectively raised her kids alone and at the same time managed a boutique of her own. Sir Arthur Lewis received his primary schooling at the Castries Anglican Primary School at the age of 10, he won a scholarship to the St. Mary's College. All his teachers were impressed by the superior intelligence he displayed. One teacher, Mrs. Melvin Collimore, said, He was the most disciplined and intelligent pupil I ever had in my class. Sir Arthur Lewis displayed a certain capacity, unrivaled by his contemporaries. He passed the Cambridge Junior exam at the age of 12 and the Cambridge School Certificate with honors. He completed school at the age of 14. Sir Arthur's academic career didn't end there. In 1933, he obtained a scholarship and went off to do a Bachelor of Commerce degree at the London School of Economics and Political Science. He graduated in 1937 at the age of 22. William Arthur Lewis graduated from the London School of Economics with the highest mark ever in the history of the university. In 1940, he was awarded the Doctor of Philosophy degree in Industrial Economics from the London School of Economics. This is the feat which crowned his economic pursuits. From this point, he began to reveal his real abilities. Sir Arthur Lewis's love for economics developed rather late. At first, he wanted to be an engineer, but was never accepted into that program. He started teaching at the London School of Economics as an assistant lecturer. Sir Arthur Lewis, however, had a yearning to return to the West Indies, and in 1947, he came back to the Caribbean. This time, he went to Grenada, where he met his wife. He married a young Grenadian called Gladys Jacobs, who proved to be a major support for him throughout his years. They produced two lovely daughters in the person of Elizabeth and Barbara Lewis. Arthur Lewis went back and forth to England. When he returned to England, he became professor of economics at the Manchester University at the age of 33. As time ensued, his name reverberated internationally. He returned to the Caribbean to take up the position of director of the Colonial Development Corporation. In the meantime, Lewis continued to receive his honors. He was selected for the award of honorary degree of Doctor of Human Letters by Columbia University. Also in 1955, he was made a member of the United Nations Commission for Asia and the Far East. All these positions gave Sir Arthur Lewis the opportunity to contribute to the economic development of not only the Caribbean region, but also the world. Sir Arthur Lewis served in various parts of the world he served as principal of the University College of the West Indies in 1959 and in 1963, director of the Central Bank in Jamaica and professor of economics and political affairs at Princeton University. He returned to the Caribbean in 1970 and then became president of the Caribbean Development Bank in 1971. Sir Arthur Lewis spent three years at the bank and then returned to Princeton University in 1974. The career of Sir Arthur Lewis seemed to be one of constant evolution and development. It is clear that his skills were very much in demand and he kept on being called upon to perform various functions around the world. Sir Arthur Lewis, in his latter years, returned to the Caribbean and spent his time with his family in Barbados. He passed away on the 15th of June 1991 and was buried on the 23rd of June at the grounds of the Sir Arthur Lewis Community College in St. Lucia. 
his name and his works still continue to live on.